Hello team, uh, this is a quick demo to authenticate yourself on Mortar GitHub while not messing your personal account or personal SSH key that has been generated earlier. So first we have to navigate to where you stored as your SSH keys. Normally it's under the um, C drive and then users and then your name. So I'm going to just navigate. This is where CD users. This is where it's normally is, unless you change it. And then dot SSH. Yeah. And here it is. That's where it is. <coughs> Now we need to uh, list all the keys that we have. Control key. Nice. So as you can see that I already have uh, a generic name for the algorithm using, that's the private key, and that's the public key for my personal GitHub. <coughs> uh, um, other, way, uh, other names that you can have is the ID uh, underscore RSA that's the oldest one but now the the, 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 alg the new algorithm is um, not using the legacy system uh, it's ID underscore ED 25519 okay we're gonna need those names now later now we're trying to generate a new keys uh, the thing is, if you have the ed, then you use this line of command. If you have the rsa underscore uh, uh, dot pop, then you use this line of command. For me, I'm going to use this so that I'm going to copy, control copy, oh God, paste. And then what we're going to do is type in the mortar email mortar dot xyz oh. <laughs> and Sasha I hope everything is right yep now here <coughs> we shouldn't use the generic ID because if we do we're not going to be able to differentiate between the the mortar one or the work one and the personal so here we have to give it a name, whatever name you want to give it, work, mortar, corp, whatever it is. And for me, just for simplicity, that's what I'm going to give it. Okay. If you want to have a passphrase or a password up to you, I like to make my life easier. So I'm leaving it blank. And here we go. <coughs> Let us make sure it, it, it is there. Here it is saved in. Mortar ID, that's the private. Mortar underscore ID dot pop, that's the public. So get mortar underscore ID dot pop because we need the public key. Copy it. Copy and then go to boom boom boom. Uh, what shall we call the 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 mortar of uh, the the GitHub of mortar? Uh, I, I did it earlier just before I do the demo to make sure everything is working. So I'm gonna delete this one. <coughs> Where you can find that from the page of mortar, you go into your profile settings from setting SSH new SSH and then give it a name and then you copy paste your public key and you add key exactly it has been added successfully okay just wanna and here we go we have that's the personal and that's the mortar now, according to this documentation of GitHub, 
that you should add your SSH key to the SSH agent, which I did previously because I used to have only one pair of keys. Uh, but since we're adding multiply GitHub accounts, we're not gonna be able to use the SSH agent but we have to set a configure file to be able to handle the two different pairs of keys and how we do that is hold a second not add config we have to have a config file or we can do nano config nano is pain in the butt a little bit so uh, we're going to use the notepad easier doesn't move so yes do you want cannot find the config do you want to create a new one it's on the other screen so yes and here we are okay now to be able to handle uh, multiply keys we're taking this piece of code pasting it here so what I'm gonna do here is personal account and uh, you're gonna leave it as it is without user without without anything so that's the host that's the host name the user is get so when you when you clone any repo your personal should be exactly like what I'm doing because we already have personal what we're gonna change is the second account and here you need to copy paste your SSH which is that one because that's your personal copy 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 okay cool now the second one you can name it uh, anything you want work um, blah 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 so here we're gonna name it mortar account and then here the changes the, the host the host the host name is the one that needs to be changed let me first copy the mortar id or i can i can just type it in copy and that's the ssh control v so after editing the personal <coughs> for mortar we have to edit the host <coughs> whatever you're gonna remember here after github.com slash um, I'm gonna keep it as it is so I don't need to remember anything mortar it's the same you can name it whatever you want to and basically uh, I believe everything looks good yeah mortar ID and it matches exactly the same cool now we're gonna save and close now we need to list again to see copy paste oh the config file shouldn't be in text though so move config Text config. Let us check it one more time. Paste. Yeah, it, here it is. So now we're going to try to let us see. Yeah, motor motor and the config. Everything looks good. Now uh, I'm going to take you to try to pull one of the repos or create one an empty one and then push it so we could verify pulling and pushing is working properly. So bear with me. So I created an empty repo on Git and uh, on GitHub mortar page. So I'm going to do a test here. So CD R 
yeah and then right here or whatever mortar make it a fist see the test I couldn't do it in one command line but it's okay okay now um we're gonna try using the SSH copy you go to your and then oh git con and then paste now here is the trick if you remember what we named the um, um, so that's basically the user and that's the host name so we have to come here oh. whatever name if you remember let me let me uh, show you when we took this copy paste and put it there and uh, we opened the config file here open with we're going to open it with the uh, notepad just to see so here you have I the name that you're going to enter here it has to match the mortar account or whatever name that you give it so what i mean by that git is the user which is us and then as as, as it's defined here and then the host should be github.com slash mrtr and then and Okay, let us see if we got it or no. Yeah. I named it test. Okay. Here it is. And here we have it, right? We need to add any anything here so I would be able to push it. So go back. Uh, anything 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 uh, you know what we can do another text so here we go test uh, new Okay, right, okay, now we're going to do git add, why it's fatal, not a git repo or any of the parent directory that git. Bear with me. I wasn't into the repo <laughs> sorry uh, so I cloned it but I didn't get into the repo I was out of it so basically I couldn't push or so get get and yep get commit testing SSH Git push. Okay, let us see if it works, and I hope it will. Where is the yes? And here is the image. So yes, it is working. Thank you so much.